Hello there, I'm Achit from USA Production and in this video we are going to talk about the limiter and the compressor used in Audacity. To make you understand these two effects or to apply these two effects in our audio clip, we need a sample audio here. So simply I'm going to record that. This is a sample audio to apply the limiter and the compressor. So okay, now the question is why do we need uh, to use this, this compressor and limiter. As you can observe our audio clip here, the first waves are, are okay, fine, in an average way. The volume will also be fine because we can, uh, we can get an idea from the waves. And if you will observe this part, this particular part of the audio clip, that this is the much higher compared to whole audio clip and the volume will also be mass here or it will be much higher compared to the whole audio clip. And if you will observe this part of the audio clip, then this is the lowest uh, volume and the lowest babes in whole audio clip. So now, w why this thing happen in your audio clip? Because we are not a machine, we are a human. We don't know uh, at what strength we have speaking at the first time and at what strength we are leaving our speaking. So, because a, this is a human nature and the natural things cannot do the things like a symmetric way. So we don't know our, our, our permanent symmetric values. So we cannot speak in a, in a symmetric way, okay? So what compressor will do, compressor will try to find out the average height of the uh, waves and it will try to compress the higher waves into the lowest one and the lower waves into the higher, okay? So now we are trying to apply this uh, compressor first. So I'm gonna select this audio clip and go to the effect panel and here you'll get somewhere compressor, okay? So as you can see this line, it will start somewhere minus 50 or 55 dB and it ended up before zero, not as zero dB, before zero, uh, somewhere like minus three or minus uh, two somewhere. Just you can get an idea from here, I don't know. You can calculate this thing, uh, the zero to 24 minus 24 dB and then you can calculate each line. So I think it must be minus three or minus two. So first you're gonna play your audio clip and you can find out the higher value here and you can compress your, your audio clip in that particular um, number. For example, I'm gonna compress it, uh, I'm gonna give the ratio 10 or ratio one, okay? Because it makes the, the compression up to minus three or minus two somewhere. Okay, six ratio, three ratio, one is, that's fine, I think. Or, yeah, that's fine. And you can also play around with threshold values or noise floor values, okay? So it depends up to your uh, particular audio clip, what your uh, audio clip need, the threshold values and noise floor values. Accordingly, you can go with that. So I'm just trying to uh, hit on OK and I will check. Uh, we can get an idea with our audio babes. It will, uh, if they, will, they are in uh, average or they are symmetrically uh, matched with all the babes, then it's OK. The compressor is working nicely. OK, then hit OK. And now, as you can see, our compressor is trying to make the the last, uh, last one is higher and the middle one is lower. And we can say yes, this is the audio clip we want because this is averagely, it is fine, okay? It, it will work for our final, uh, wherever you want in final project or for, or for something, okay? And now what limiter will do? Limiter is like a Caesar or like a trimmer, okay? It, for example, if you are giving some certain value here to limit to uh, dB, okay, in the dB, uh, in a in a dB format, okay, so it is it work like a, like a trimmer. It will trim the extra babes in from your audio clip. For example, I want to tell the limiter, for example, minus three dB. I want to cut everything from the minus three dB. I do not want to 
uh, go ever from the minus 3 dB. So the limiter will li make you limit at the certain value that you have given in the limiter, okay? And now press on okay, as you can see here. What limiter did? Limiter uh, trimmed that certain area that you have to give uh, inside your limiter. And now your audio clip is much controlled and you can apply some more effects on it, okay? Similarly, uh, one more effect is like that way, it's called normalize, normalization, but normalization is not working in a symmetric way. It, uh, it is working like uh, amplifier, okay? So the normalization is not uh, uh, work like limiter and compressor. So I hope you uh, understand better about the compressor and limiter. This is a audacity tutorial, but you, uh, you can apply this method because the basic principle of both effects are similar in, in all the audio editor software out there in the market. So you can apply this principle in whatever program you're using. It doesn't matter if you're using Adobe Audition or FL Studio or Audacity or whatever. You can apply uh, these effects or this, this, this knowledge or this information uh, to any program. Thank you for watching this video.